and a very good morning to you and uh, welcome to the city of uh, Wrocław in Poland. Uh, today I've got around about five hours here, so not a huge amount of time to look around this large city. I understand it's uh, well worth a, a visit and I uh, hope to come back here and stay for a longer period of time at some point in the future. But anyway, today's quite a good taste of day for it. Um, it's, uh, just going to check out my Google Maps, see what the best route is to take around the city, but I don't know, I always like to go clockwise, but I'm going to have a little look, it does seem to be a good city for a circular kind of walk, looking at the map, so uh, I'm just going to sit here on those one of those seats over there, just have a little look for a minute and decide which route to take into the old town area, there's a river here too, uh, let's hope that the, the area around the river is a bit nicer for walking around than the one I saw in um, Poznan, uh, which wasn't the best for getting close up to the river anyway. But anyway, that's that's uh, that's another video and another story completely. This is the uh, quite impressive central station here, here in Wrocław. Uh, let's go, let's see what we find. Right, after a little consultation with Google Maps, um, just having a having a, a rough idea of uh, where I'm going to walk today. First thing that caught my mind was something that was uh, on the map as the passage. Something to do with some bronze statues. So that, that caught my attention. And it's uh, not much of a deviation from a direct route into the center of uh, Wrocław anyway. So I'll uh, take that deviation down this road Go and see what that's all about and then continue on towards what looks like some sort of lake elongated lake area and park before you get into the old center of the city so uh, that's the plan the initial plan here as always very pleased to see as is with most or many european cities trams great way of getting around cities and uh, most of the buses here in Poland tend to be electric as well with uh, battery powered and uh, pantographs that go up uh, onto the on, onto overhead cables periodically. A little bit, a little bit like trolley buses, but with a pantograph and uh, intermittent charging points, which uh, is uh, interesting. I've seen that in a few places in Germany and Poland and in Europe in general. These things really need to happen in Britain. If anyone from Britain's watching, come on, let's get this sorted. Not enough trams in Britain, not enough electric buses. Anyway, let's go and find the passage. Well, here's some statues. Um, they seem quite popular with people popping up and doing selfies and having their photographs taken just here. I guess I need to find a little bit more out about these. Quite interesting though. And um, this appears to be the passage. Reminds me um, of the colonnades in Bologna, Italy. There's um, quite a few kilometres worth of them there in Bologna. I'm not sure how many of them are got there, <laughs> there are here in Wrocław, but this is certainly a passage or colonnade. Um, so that was interesting enough. I'll just have a little look along here, see what I can see. So if there's anything interesting, just appears to be some shops and a, a covered walkway, really, which um, is always useful, especially on rainy days. Well, there's nothing particular down here as such. I'm going to head on towards the elongated lake and park and see what's there before I head into the, the old part of the city. Here. 
Right, well, um, this is the sort of an area of green and water that half circles the old part of the city. Um, so there you have it, that's, that's what that is there. And what appears to be a long park in both directions from here. Might take a closer look at those later on, just to see what's here. Well, it seems a pleasant enough place. Um, yeah, it's almost like a moat around the centre of the, the city. On the other, the other half of the city is the river, which presumably those lakes or moats, whatever they are, are being fed by the river. Plenty of places to sit and eat your sandwiches or have a coffee. And uh, again, noted that um, less manicured than you'd see in somewhere like Great Britain, allowing it to grow a bit, some weeds to come up, and wildflowers and so on to help the insects, which is probably pr a pretty good thing. I noticed the same yesterday uh, when doing a walk around. Poznan. It's a separate video. And uh, that building there, I can tell you, is the opera. Wrocław Opera. Or Opera House. Okay, I'm going to continue in slowly now to the old part of the city. This is what I like about not planning too much and that's, I've just changed my mind. I'm not going to go into the central part of the city. I'm going to follow this semicircular park around in a clockwise direction on the, uh, the, uh, the edges of the old town and uh, down to the river, have a little look down there and then head into the old town. I'm thinking about my belly as usual, which uh, isn't ready for anything to eat yet. And I think the old town's probably going to be the best place to sit down and tuck into some decent, decent Polish food or a pizza or something like that. So I shall uh, take the longer walk into the old town now. Just enjoy walking through this park. <laughs> So we have it. Uh, this is um, this semicircular water and water uh, elongated lake and park is, is in fact the uh, Frotwolf Old Town Promenade. And uh, if you just go close to that map there, you'll see the general. You are here. So I'm walking round to the river here, and then I'm going to take uh, go into the the old town area and have a look around there a little bit later on uh, just just for reference purposes the route the railway station was somewhere over here and I walked into roughly about here and I'm currently roughly about here and I'm currently walking along around that way when when I um, finally get to the river it's the river Oda which runs um, east to west from here out towards the German border. And when it reaches the German border, it becomes the German border, turns north and eventually discharges into the Baltic Sea in the very north of Poland and the north of Germany. I can't remember the name of the city right on the uh, coast there. Um, I can't, Koshalin, Koshalin, something like that. I can't, I can't remember quite how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, so. It's a, it's a long gold river and hopefully it'll be a little bit more interesting to walk along and look around than the, the area of uh, the Varta I found in Poznan yesterday. Although, talking to a friend who lives in Poznan, uh, they said to me that there was uh, a much better area to go along towards the uh, 
if you go a bit further south of the city and a bit further north in the center of the city itself the river is uh, a little bit away but anyway i'll digress slightly that's something to do with another video but, uh, yeah it's quite pleasant on this uh Brotoir Fold Town Promenade or Promenade, however you pronounce it. Cute little bridge uh, across the, uh, no, let's call it the moat. <laughs> Don't know quite what else to call it. Um, closed, presumably too dangerous for big heavy people to walk across now. Right, well, here we are. That's the uh, river Oda or Odra in Polish. Uh, again, it doesn't have a particularly appealing riverside walk down by the riverside itself. There's some guy down there looks like he's doing some fishing, but it doesn't look uh, sealed off up there to those steps down to there. So clearly don't want you to walk directly next to the river itself. That's the, um, the old town over there in the distance. I'm going to be heading in that direction and I don't think I'm going to be taking the, the outer loop along there uh, seems to be people walking above the river there and on the pathway so I'm going to take that route back towards the old town area um, right I was, hope I was hoping for something a bit better than that I'm a little underwhelmed I have to say by the ability to walk by the river itself it does seem an opportunity missed, I've got to say. So, anyway, probably reasons for it. Indeed, there's some more steps, steps there that uh, take you down to the riverside itself uh, that look to be sealed off from where I'm standing here. So, I don't know, I don't know, it's strange. Anyway, I'll keep to the high level for the time being, see where it takes us. So the the Odra appears to split into two separate um, sections down the southwest part of the city, and uh, this bit, bit here to the left is, is basically an island, big long island, and here's the other part of the river, which uh, seems somewhat nicer than the the bit I was just at, and uh, there does appear to be a walkway, albeit high up. There's a lot of uh, new developments along here interesting to know what this was like back in the day um, with some quite swish looking apartments overlooking the river that were very nice indeed so I'll just continue along here now for a little while just see where I get to there's a couple of bridges taking me back over into the old part of the city I'll have a little explore around there I think that's it now for, uh, for this part of it. I'm just going to uh, make my way back in towards the old town now and see what we can see there. Right, so here we are into the very large old town area of uh, Vratwaf and to um, continue in a clockwise manner through this uh, central part of the city. And already it's um, a totally different vibe to the other side of the water, be it the river or the um, the promenade, the water that's at the promenade, the lake, elongated lakes. So, yeah, let's have a little look. There's a few squares, the cathedral, and one or two other things to have a look at on the way round.
I've seen a few little uh, metal dwarfs around the place so far. I shall have to look into that later to understand why. There are little metal dwarfs here and everywhere that people seem to go along and rubbing. It's a Monday morning incidentally, so it's a fairly quiet day. It's not all that many people about at the moment. I guess one or two tourists, but most uh, uh, Polish schools are now on, on holiday, so there's a few families knocking about and children around, but on the whole, it's a fairly quiet day today. Hopefully have a nice peaceful walk around and see what this place has got to offer. The new marketplace. Yeah, this is the old town area, um, but a new part of it. Reminds me of a um, reminds me of a square similar to this in Katowice, actually. Um, oh, nice enough, but I'm going to head into the old part of the old town or the older part of the old town now. But not a bad place to stop for an ice cream and a coffee, I guess. Okay, finally uh, finished walking around the outer edges of the city and the outer edges of the, the inner city, the old town area, and got to the central bit, which is um, pedestrianised completely and a lot more calm and peaceful. There's some quite interesting buildings to have a look around, so I'm just going to spend a while now just having a look around here. Before heading back to the station in um, an hour and a half's time to head back to Poznan. I believe that's the, the old town hall. Yes, I can see the sign for it now, the old Gothic town hall. Now this is not Krakow by any stretch of the imagination, but this area certainly has um, is is quite similar in many ways. But um, a few more modern things have been allowed to creep into the central square area. Although I do remember a Hard Rock Cafe in the in the main square in Krakow as well. This is very similar, actually and um, equally as pleasant to walk around. Some nice smells wafting out of these cafes as well. I'm starting to get a bit peckish, so I might have to take a break from all this videoing and go and grab something to eat soon.
Yeah, so uh, if any of you have ever been to Krakow, um, this part of the city has definitely got a very similar feel. The main square in the centre of the old town uh, with the um, similar kinds of attractions. Now, um, one thing I've noticed with uh, Frotwaf, it's uh, quite good for the music scene. Its location here in Poland, fairly close to Germany, the Czech Republic, means that um, quite a few bands come here and play in one or two small venues. I'm not talking about massive superstar bands, I'm talking, you know, some of these Central European electro industrial metal type bands. Quite a lot of them are based in Germany and this part of Poland, and so it's quite a good place. There's a few um, mini festivals on in this, this general part of Poland as well, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, it's worth looking it up because it's uh, a good place to base yourself if you want to. See different parts of a different part of Poland, and also be close to some stuff you might be interested in doing. But yeah, nice square. I'm getting peckish now. It is lunchtime. I'm going to go and find some good old Polish cuisine to eat uh, before I head back to Poznan. If I see anything else worth uh, videoing, I will. Um, I'll return.
at uh, Vratwath Gwovny or Vratwath Central Station. That was a lovely walk around this city. Um, I've uh, a bit of a bit of a amble and a ramble to say the least. So I uh, didn't go straight to the centre and straight back again, as you've seen. And um, I've come in at about 14,000 steps around about six miles of walking that's uh, just under 10 kilometers um, in just over three hours so it's a fa fairly slow paced it's quite a hot day today so it's been good would I come to uh, Frotwaf again absolutely yeah really nice place bit of a taster today there's plenty more to see and do here as I say, it seems to have quite a good music scene. It's a university city, so if you come here in the uh, when the university is open with students, then um, it's bound to be quite lively, like most university cities. And uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyable day out. Going to head back to well, head back onto the platforms now and catch the train back to Poznan. Look out for the other videos of walks around Poznan, also Krakow, and if I have time in a day or two, I'm going to also do one for the very centre, the old town area of Warsaw, but I'm not entirely sure I'm going to have time for that, but we shall see. Take care, and uh, see you again soon.